One of the most beautiful par threes is the 12th here at the Serengeti Signature Golf Course. And this is a relatively tough shot. First thing I need to do is establish the distance. Got my range finder ready. Well, that confirms everything for me. 193 meters to today's flag. And you'll see the flag is tucked a little bit to the right hand side. I'm not bothering about the flag. It's about a five iron for me. There's a prevailing wind which sort of comes over behind and from the right. So I'm gonna try and ride that wind with a five iron and see if we can get it into the middle of the green. So five iron is the choice of club. Just a nice smooth swing, let it ride a little bit on the wind. That's looking pretty good. Perfect. What I really like about this 12th hole is that visually, as I mentioned, there's quite a lot of bunkers, both on the right hand side and on the left. But in the center of the green is what the shot is, and that's the one I've chosen. Very fortunate to get a quite a nice strike on that five iron. It's pitched on the green here, and it's made its way back up to this back portion of the green. But you can see there's so much space. This is a rather generous green, but on the tee box, it looks like nothing. I'm just gonna leave the flag in. Let's see if we can make it two. Well, isn't that just a wonderful way to finish a challenging hole? That's exactly where you want to be, in the hole. That was such a nice one putt and always gives you a sense of achievement. But you get back to the clubhouse and you tell someone you just hold a 20-footer, of course they hold a 25-footer. If you've hit a big drive on the 12th hole, they hit a bigger drive. If you had two three putts, they had three three putts, and so on. Listening is such a powerful tool. You should try it sometime. We're listening to somebody with the intention of understanding what they're going to say as opposed to waiting for your chance to interrupt them. That's not the way it should work. Listen, it's great.